Good afternoon. I am Professor G. N. Rajappa, Professor and HOD of Mathematics, AIT Chikmagalur. So now I will continue Laplace transform. Find the Laplace transform of find L of 1 minus e to the power of t divided by t. Find L of 1 minus e to the power of t by t. That is equal to here. So, we know that L of 1 minus e to the power of t is equal to that is L of 1 minus L of e to the power of t. We know L of 1 is 1 by S minus L of e to the power of t is 1 by S minus 1. So, this is L of 1 minus e to the power of t is equal to we want here L of 1 minus e to the power of t divided by t. So, therefore, L of 1 minus e to the power of t divided by t is equal to, if t is in the denominator, then we have to integrate from s to infinity f of s to ds. This is f of t and this is f of s. So, by using the previous property, we know if L of f of t equal to f of s, then L of f of t divided by t is equal to integral from s to infinity. f of s means 1 by s minus 1 by s minus 1 into ds. So, the previous property is if L of f of t is equal to f of s then L of f of t divided by t is equal to integral from s to infinity f of s into ds. This is the previous property. So, if L of f of t is f of s, then L of f of t divided by t is integral from s to infinity f of s into ds. Here, this is L of f of t is f of s then L of f of t divided by t is integral from s to infinity f of s into ds. Now, just integrate here. We know integral of 1 by s to ds is log s minus integral of ds by s minus 1 that is log s minus 1 from s to infinity that is equal to log a minus log b is log a by b that means that is log s divided by s minus 1 from s to infinity. So, log a minus log b is log a by b that is equal to here log dividing numerator and denominator by s then that becomes here. So, s to infinity here log s s cancel you take s outside and then you cancel s s that becomes here. So, log of 1 by 1 minus 1 by s from s to infinity. Now, you put s equal to infinity here 1 by infinity is 0, 1 minus 0 is 1, 1 by 1 is 1, log 1 is 0. That means, 0 minus put s equal to s you will get the same that means, log of 1 by 1 minus 1 by s after simplifying that becomes that is equal to minus log of take LCM that becomes S by S minus 1. Take LCM here this becomes here 1 by S minus 1 by S this S will go to numerator that is log S by S minus 1 or you can write here this is equal to log of s by s minus 1 to the power of minus 1 or log of s minus 1 by s. This is the answer. Next problem, find L of, find L of e to the power of minus a t minus e to the power of minus b t divided by t. 
So, find L of e to the power of minus a t minus c to the power of minus b t divided by t. So, we know that L of e to the power of minus a t minus e to the power of minus b t is equal to so, we know L of e to the power of minus a t minus e to the power of minus b t is equal to, we know this formula here. So, L of 1 is 1 by s, L of e to the power of a t is equal to 1 by s minus a, L of e to the power of minus a t is equal to 1 by s plus a. That means, replace a by minus a, that becomes 1 by s plus a. That means, this is here 1 by s plus a minus L of e to the power of minus b t in place of here write b, then that becomes 1 by s plus b. We want here L of e to the power of minus a t minus e to the power of minus b t by t. So, therefore, L of e to the power of minus a t minus e to the power of minus b t divided by t is equal to if right divided by t, then we have to integrate from s to infinity by using that property. So, f of s means 1 by s plus a minus 1 by s plus b into d s. That means, here if l of f of t is equal to f of s, then l of f of t divided by t equal to integral from s to infinity f of s into d s that is by using that property. Just integrate here, we know integral of d s by s plus a is log s plus a minus again integral of d s by s plus b is log s plus b from s to infinity. We know log a minus log b is log a by b that is log s plus a by s plus b from s to infinity. Log a minus log b is log a by b. Take numer here s outside both the numerator and denominator or divide the numerator and denominator by s, then that becomes here log. So, s into 1 plus a by s divided by s into 1 plus b by s from s to infinity. So, s, s cancel here. Now, you put s equal to infinity, a by infinity is 0, b by infinity is 0, 1 plus 0 is 1, again 1 plus 0 is 1, 1 by 1 is 1, log 1 is 0. That means, 0 minus, put s equal to s, you will get the same. That means, log of 1 plus a by s divided by 1 plus b by s. Take LCM. Here take LCM, yes, here S is the LCM, here also S is the LCM. That means, you will get here minus log S plus A by S plus B. S, S cancel after taking LCM. That is equal to here log of S plus A divided by S plus B to the power of minus 1. Here log, log A to the power of B is B into log A or you can write here that is equal to log s plus b divided by s plus a. So, log s plus b by s plus a. That means, L of e to the power of minus a t minus e to the power of minus b t by t is log s plus b by s plus a. Next example, find L of find L of e to the power of minus t into sin, find L of e to the power of minus t into sin a t by t. Find L of e to the power of minus t into sin a t divided by t. So, we know that L of e to the power of minus t into sin a t is equal to, 
we know this formula L of e to the power of a t into sin b t is equal to, so b by s minus a whole square plus b square. So, L of e to the power of a t sin b t is b by s minus a whole square plus b square, just compare here, put a is equal to minus 1 in place of a write minus 1 in place of b write a. Then the formula is here a divided by, so s minus a whole square means s plus 1 whole square plus a square. So, b by s minus a whole square plus b square put a is equal to minus 1, b is equal to a. We want here L of e to the power of minus t into sin a t divided by t equal to if you write divided by t, then we have to integrate from s to infinity by using that property. So, f of s means a divided by s plus 1 whole square plus a square into ds. So, if l of f of t is f of s, then l of f of t by t is integral from s to infinity f of s into ds by using that property. Just integrate this one here. You take a outside integral from s to infinity 1 by s plus 1 whole square plus a square d s. That is equal to, so we know integral of 1 by x square plus a square d x is equal to 1 by a tan inverse x by a integral of 1 by x square plus a square dx is 1 by a tan inverse x by a. So, you assume this as x here, this is x square plus a square form. In place of x, you write s plus 1. Then that becomes here. So, a by a, 1 by a tan inverse. So, x means s plus 1 by a from s to infinity. So, in place of here x, you write s plus 1, then that becomes tan inverse of s plus 1 by a. a, a cancel here, that is equal to, put s equal to infinity, infinity plus 1 is also infinity by a is also infinity, tan inverse infinity is pi by 2 minus, put s equal to s, you will get the same here, tan inverse of s plus 1 by a we know pi by 2 minus tan inverse theta is equal to cot inverse theta. That means, this is equal to cot inverse of s plus 1 by a. Here, pi by 2 minus tan inverse theta is equal to cot inverse theta. In place of theta, you write s plus 1 by a. Next example, find L of find L of or show that show that integral from 0 to infinity integral from 0 to infinity t into e to the power of minus 2 t t into e to the power of minus 2 t sin 4 t dt equal to 1 by 25. Here show that integral from 0 to infinity t into e to the power of minus 2 t sin 4 t dt is equal to 1 by 25. So, by definition we know L of f of t is equal to that means, integral from 0 to infinity e to the power of minus a s t into f of t d t is equal to L of f of t. This is the definition. So, definition is L of f of t is integral from 0 to infinity e to the power of minus a s t f of t d t. So, by using this definition, 
you write integral from 0 to infinity same here. So, e to the power of minus e s t is also same. So, in place of f of t you write t sin 40. So, in place of f of t you write t sin 40 that means t into sin 40 d t is equal to L of t sin 40 L of t sin 40. So, in place of f of t you write t into sin 40. We know how to find this L of Laplace transform of t into sin 40. If t is in the here numerator then by using the previous property minus 1 to the power of 1 d by d s of. So, L of sin 40 is 4 divided by a square plus 4 square. So, by he that means here if L of f of t is equal to f of s then L of t into f of t is equal to minus 1 to the power of 1 d by d s of f of s. This is a previous property that here if L of f of t is equal that means L of t into f of t is equal to minus 1 to the power of 1 d by d s of this one here L of sin 40. Just to differentiate here minus of differentiating with respect to s you will get the answer that means here s square plus 16 whole square. So, s square plus 16 into derivative of 4 is 0 minus 4 into so minus 4 into derivative of s square is 2 s plus derivative of 4 square is 0. that is equal to here the first term is 0 here 0 into s square plus 16 is 0 minus 8 into minus that means here 8 s divided by s square plus 16 whole square 8 s by s square plus 16 whole square. The left hand side is same here integral from 0 to infinity e to the power of minus s t into d into sin 40 d t is equal to we want here integral from 0 to infinity e to the power of minus 2 t by comparing here if this is e to the power of minus 2 t here this is e to the power of minus s t we want e to the power of minus 2 t means put s is equal to 2 you will get the answer here put s equal to 2 then integral from 0 to infinity e to the power of minus s t minus s means 2 t into t into sin 4 t d t is equal to put s equal to 2. So, 8 into 2 divided by 2 square plus 16 whole square that is equal to here 16 divided by 16 plus 4 20 20 whole square that is equal to here 1 by 25. That means, this becomes here 16 by 20 into 20 or to simplify that becomes 1 by 25. Next example, show that show that integral from 0 to infinity 0 to infinity e to the power of minus 3 t into t into cos 2 t d t cos 2 t d t is equal to 5 by 169, 5 divided by 169. Same type problem here, first you write the definition. So, a definition is L of f of t is equal to integral from 0 to infinity e to the power of minus s t f of t d t by comparing these two here that is integral from 0 to infinity e to the power of minus s t same right here in place of f of t write t into cos 2 t. So, in place of f of t write t into cos 2 t. So, t into cos 2 t into d t is equal to L of so t cos 2 t. We want here L of t into cos 2 t. Again by using that property here, if t is in the numerator, 
then we have to write here minus 1 to the power of 1 d by d s of. So, L of cos 2 d is s by s square plus 2 square or 4. So, L of cos 2 d is s by s square plus 4, just to differentiate here that is equal to minus of. So, s square plus 4 whole square. So, s square plus 4 into derivative of s with respect to s is 1 minus s into derivative of s square is 2 s plus 0. So, 2 s plus 0 that is equal to here, here s square minus 2 s square s square minus 2 s square with negative that means s square minus 4 divided by s square plus 4 whole square. This is here s square minus 2 s square is minus s square with minus that means plus s square minus 4 divided by s square plus 4 whole square. So, the left hand side is same here integral from 0 to infinity e to the power of minus s t t into cos 2 t d t equal to. We want here integral from 0 to infinity e to the power of minus 3 t by comparing here put s is equal to 3 you will get the required answer. So, put s is equal to 3 then this becomes integral from 0 to infinity e to the power of minus 3 t e to t into cos 2 t d t is equal to put s equal to 3. So, 3 square minus 4 divided by 3 square plus 4 whole square that is equal to here 9 minus 4 5 after simplifying here 9 plus 4 13 whole square is 169 this is the answer 5 by 169. Next problem, evaluate so evaluate integral from zero to infinity. 0 to infinity e to the power of minus a t minus e to the power of minus b t divided by t d t. So, evaluate integral from 0 to infinity e to the power of minus a t minus e to the power of minus b t by t d t. Again here by definition, by definition integral from 0 to infinity e to the power of minus s t into f of t d t is equal to. So, L of f of t this is the definition. So, in this definition that means you write 0 to infinity e to the power of minus s t. So, in place of f of t you write e to the power of minus a t minus e to the power of minus b t by t in place of f of t that means that is e to the power of minus a t minus e to the power of minus b t divided by t equal to L of e to the power of minus a t minus e to the power of minus b t divided by t. So, in place of f of t you write e to the power of minus a t minus e to the power of minus b t by t we know how to evaluate this problem. So, divided by t means by using the proper previous property integral from s to infinity. If t is in the denominator then you write integral from s to infinity L of e to the power of minus a t is 1 by s plus a minus L of e to the power of minus b t is 1 by s plus b into d s. Now, you integrate here that is equal to integral of d s by s plus a is log s plus a minus integral of d s by s plus b is log s plus b from s to infinity. Again we know 
log a minus log b is log a by b that means that is equal to log of s plus a by s plus b from s to infinity log a minus log b is log a by b from s to infinity here you take s both in numerator and denominator outside that is equal to log of so s into 1 plus a by s divided by s into 1 plus b by s from s to infinity here s s cancelled put s equal to upper limit infinity then this becomes a by infinity is 0 b by infinity is 0 1 plus 0 by 1 plus 0 is 1 log 1 is 0 that means this is equal to here 0 minus put s equal to s lower limit you will get the same that means log of 1 plus a by s divided by 1 plus b by s again simplify that becomes here that is equal to minus taking LCM then that becomes s plus a divided by s plus b. So, minus of log s plus a by s plus b that means that is equal to so that means that is equal to a log of s plus b by s plus a to the power of minus 1 a log a to the power of b is b into log a or you can write here this is equal to log of s plus a by s plus b the left hand side is same that means integral from 0 to infinity e to the power of minus a s t e to the power of minus a t minus e to the power of minus b t divided by t is equal to but we want here integral only from 0 to infinity here you compare these two we want only integral from 0 to infinity e to the power of minus a t minus e to the power of minus b t by t only. So, in the given problem there is no e to the power of minus a t we have to eliminate this term to eliminate this term put just put s equal to 0 you will get the required answer put s equal to 0 then e to the power of 0 is 1 if you put s equal to 0 here e to the power of 0 is 1 the remaining is here integral from 0 to infinity e to the power of minus a t minus e to the power of minus b t by t equal to log so put s equal to 0 0 plus a divided by 0 plus b or that is log a by b so this is the answer that means integral from 0 to infinity e to the power of minus a t minus e to the power of minus b t by t d t is equal to only log a by b. Next example. Next one more property is then property number 3. property 3. So, if L of f of t is equal to f of s then L of integral from 0 to t f of t dt is equal to equal to f of s divided by s. So, here if L of f of t is equal to f of s then L of here L of integral from 0 to t f of t d t is equal to f of s by s. Proof. Proof is very simple here very easy let f of t is equal to integral from 0 to t f of t d t. So, here first you assume here let f of t is equal to integral from 0 to t f of t dt. So, this is equal to f of t first you assume here and hence from here f of 
f dash t is equal to f of t and f of 0 equal to and f of 0 equal to 0. If you put t equal to 0 here f of 0 equal to integral from 0 to 0 means it is obvious here that is 0 and here if you differentiate this here then f dash t becomes only f of t. So, let f of t equal to integral from 0 to t f of t dt and hence from this here f dash t is equal to f of t and f of 0 is 0. So, by definition by definition L of f of t is equal to. So, by definition L of f of t is equal to integral from 0 to infinity e to the power of minus s t f of t d t. Here by definition L of f of t is equal to integral from 0 to infinity e to the power of minus s t f of t d t integration by parts. This is first function, this is second function, first function into integral of second. That means, here f of t into integral of second is e to the power of minus e s t divided by minus e s from 0 to infinity minus integral from 0 to infinity derivative of first derivative of f of t is f dash t. So, derivative of f of t is f dash t into integral of second e to the power of minus e s t divided by minus e s into d t. That means, here first function into integral of second minus integral of derivative of first into integral of second into d t. This is integration by parts that is equal to here if you put t equal to infinity then infinity into s is infinity e to the power of minus infinity is 0 minus put t is equal to 0 here put t equal to 0 then this becomes e to the power of 0 is 1 but f of 0 is 0 0 by minus s is also 0 if you put t equal to 0 here f of 0 is 0 0 by minus s is 0 and this becomes here minus into minus plus 1 by s you take outside write the remaining here 0 to infinity e to the power of minus e s t f dash t into d t minus into minus plus 1 by s you take outside the remaining is e to the power of minus e s t into f dash t into d t that is equal to 1 by s into so, integral from 0 to infinity e to the power of minus a s t, we know f dash t is equal to f of t, here f dash t is equal to f of t that means in place of f dash t you write f of t. So, that means f of t into d t because f dash t is equal to f of t, f dash t is equal to f of t that is equal to 1 by s into by definition here integral from 0 to infinity e to the power of minus s t f of t d t is equal to L of f of t. But L of f of t is equal to again by definition this is f of s that means 1 by s into f of s or f of s by s. that comes the proof of this property. That means, here if L of f of t is f of s then L of integral from 0 to t f of t d t is equal to f of s by s. Next examples, find L of find L of so T find L of integral from 0 to T it is 0 to T T cos A T D T T into cos A T into D T 
find L of integral from 0 to t, t into cos a t d t. This is here t. Let f of t is equal to t into cos a t. So, let f of t is equal to t into cos a t. Taking Laplace transform both sides, then here this becomes L of f of t is equal to so, L of t into cos a t. Taking Laplace transform both sides, then this becomes L of f of t equal to L of t into cos a t. By using the previous property, if t is in the numerator, then you write here minus 1 to the power of 1 d by d s of into L of cos a t is s by a square plus a square. So, L of cos a t is s by a square plus a square. Differentiate this here by using u by v quotient rule that means that is equal to a square plus a square whole square a square plus a square into derivative of s with respect to s is 1 minus this s into derivative of a square plus a square is 2 s plus 0. Again simplify here this is a square minus 2 a square that is minus a square with minus that means this becomes here a square minus a square divided by a square plus a square whole square. So, the left hand side is here L of f of t is equal to, but we know by definition L of f of t is f of s. So, this is f of s equal to. So, that means L of f of t is f of s by using the definition. And now here by using this property, if L of f of t is f of s then L of integral from 0 to t f of t d t is equal to f of s by s. So, that means here there is L of integral from 0 to t what is f of t? So, f of t is equal to t into cos a t. So, in place of f of t write t into cos a t into d t is equal to f of s, f of s is a square minus a square by a square plus a square whole square. So, a square minus a square by a square plus a square whole square into this 1 by s, this 1 by s. So, f of s divided by s that is the answer here. So, a square minus a square by s into a square plus a square whole square. Next example, find L of find L of integral from 0 to t, integral from 0 to t e to the power of 2 t into sin a t by t into d t. find L of integral from 0 to t e to the power of 2 t sin a t by t d t. The first step here let f of t is equal to same type problem. So, first you assume here let f of t is equal to e to the power of 2 t into sin a t divided by t. Let f of t is equal to taking Laplace transform both sides we get L of f of t is equal to. So, L of e to the power of 2 t into sin a t divided by t L of e to the power of 2 t sin a t by t. That is equal to f for divided by t we have to integrate here from integral from s to infinity. So, t is in the denominator. So, we have to integrate from s to infinity. We know L of e to the power of 2 t sin a t. We know this formula here. We know that L of e to the power of a t sin b t is equal to. So, b divided by s minus a whole square plus b square. 
So, b by s minus a whole square plus b square. So, in place of a write to in place of b write a in that form there. Then this becomes here a divided by s minus 2 whole square plus a square into d s into d s that is equal to a you take outside integral from s to infinity 1 by s minus 2 whole square plus a square into d s. Again by using this formula integral of d x divided by x square plus a square is equal to 1 by a tan inverse x by a. So, you assume this as x here, this is x square plus a square form that is equal to a by a tan inverse of x means s minus 2 divided by a from s to infinity, a a cancel. So, now here you put s equal to infinity here, infinity minus 2 is infinity by a is also infinity. So, tan inverse of infinity is pi by 2 minus so, pi by 2 minus put s equal to s, you will get here tan inverse of same will get here s minus 2 by a, tan inverse of s minus 2 by a or that is equal to here cot inverse of s minus 2 by a. So, the here L of f of t is equal to or f of s is equal to. So, this is L of f of t that is equal to f of s by definition L of f of t is f of s. So, again by using this, this property here, that means here if L of f of t is f of s, then L of integral from 0 to t, f of t dt is equal to f of s by s. So, that is here L of integral from 0 to t. So, in place of f of t write this here e to the power of 2 t sin a t by t. So, e to the power of 2 t into sin a t divided by t into d t equal to. So, f of s means cot inverse s minus 2 by a. So, that means you write here 1 by s, you write this 1 by s into cot inverse of s minus 2 by a is the answer. So, that means L of integral from 0 to t e to the power of 2 t sin a t by t d t is equal to 1 by s into hot inverse s minus 2 by a. Next example. So, next unit, next unit that means this is unit 7. So, inverse Laplace transforms, inverse Laplace transforms. Inverse Laplace transforms. So, definition is suppose here if L of f of t is equal to f of s, this is the definition. So, if L of f of t equal to f of s, then f of t is called here inverse Laplace transform of f of s. That means here then f of t is equal to L inverse of f of s. So, if L of f of t is f of s, then f of t is called inverse Laplace transform of f of s and is denoted by L inverse of f of s. So, if L of f of t is equal to f of s, then f of t is called inverse Laplace transform of f of s and is denoted by 
L inverse of f of s. That is here if L of f of t equal to f of s, then f of t is equal to inverse Laplace transform of f of s. That is L inverse of f of s. Standard results I use here by using this definition we can write standard results. Number 1, L inverse of 1 by S is equal to 1, L inverse of 1 by S is equal to 1, because here we know L of 1 is 1 by S, we know from the previous chapter here L of 1 is equal to 1 by S. So, L of 1 is 1 by S, therefore L inverse of 1 by S is 1. Number 2, L inverse of 1 by S minus A equal to e to the power of A d, because we know L of e to the power of A d is here, L of e to the power of A d is equal to 1 by S minus A, 1 by S minus A, that means L inverse of 1 by S minus A is equal to e to the power of A d here L inverse of 1 by S minus A is e to the power of A t. Number 3, L inverse of 1 by S to the power of N, we know L of t to the power of N is equal to N factorial by S to the power of N plus 1. That means L inverse of 1 by S to the power of N plus 1 is equal to t to the power of n by n factorial. So, L inverse of 1 by s to the power of n plus 1 is t to the power of n by n factorial, replace n by n minus 1, n minus 1 plus 1 is n, then that becomes L inverse of 1 by s to the power of n is equal to, this becomes here t to the power of n minus 1 by n minus 1 factorial here L of t to the power of n is n factorial by s to the power of n plus 1, therefore L inverse of 1 by s to the power of n plus 1 is t to the power of n by n factorial, in place of n you write here n minus 1, then this becomes L inverse of 1 by s to the power of n minus 1 plus 1 is n equal to t to the power of n minus 1 by n minus 1 factorial. Number 4, L inverse of 1 by S minus A to the power of N is equal to L inverse of 1 by S minus A to the power of N is e to the power of A t into t to the power of N minus 1 by N minus 1 factorial. Number 5, L inverse of 1 by A square plus A square is equal to 1 by A or sin A t by A, sin A t by A, because here we know L of sin A t is equal to A by A square plus A square. So, we know L of sin A t is A by A square plus A square, therefore L inverse of 1 by A square plus A square is sin A t by A. Okay, thank you. Next month I will continue. Same lab transform will continue. Thank you.